Good day everyone, so here we have a new lesson, which is the prosodic features of speech. So there are different features of speech or different prosodic features of speech. But for now, we'll be just talking the basic ones. So what are prosodic features? So these are aspects of speech or speaking which go beyond phonemes and deal with the auditory qualities of sounds. So, first of all is stress. So, when we say stress, it is not migraine or headache due to different kinds of deadlines. So, when we say stress in English or in prosodic features of speech, it is the degree of force with which a syllable or a word is uttered. It can be called a grammatical device in spoken English. In English, a part of the meaning of a word depends on its stress. It serves to mark the function of the word in spoken words. So, stress in English is the degree or force which a syllable or a word or a word is uttered. Because if you speak a word differently, it may change meaning. For example, we have present and present. So there are, those are words similar both in spelling, but just pronounce it or speak it differently, they will have a different meaning. One is present, it can be a present, a gift, or uh, today, right now, present, <coughs> excuse me, or present, a uh, meaning to show. Let's to report something. So next is volume. So volume is the loudness or softness of sounds. It is used to show emotion. So if it is basically the loudness or softness of your voice. It is uh, volume is to show your emotions in speaking. Next, pitch. It is the highness or lowness of a tone. So, do not be fooled by volume and pitch. They are completely different. Pitch is related to intonation. So, when we say volume, it is how soft or how loud is your voice. Pitch, on the other hand, it is the highness or lowness of a tone which is used in intonation. Intonation is the variation of a spoken pitch used to express emotion as well, but also for emphasizing something. There are different kinds of intonation, but for today or for this lesson, we'll just focus on the falling intonation and the rising intonation. So when we say falling intonation, it is a sentence that is either a statement or it answers a question. And when we say rising intonation, it is either a question answerable by yes or by no. So for examples, so he bought apples, peaches, pears, and oranges. We have, I'll have two pencils, a black pen, and some ink. And we went to Paris, Brussels, Amsterdam, and London. Oh, lastly is, I saw Esther, Jane, Neil, and Susan. So, again, we just talk about the common or the basic part of prosodic features of speech. So, I hope you understand this short video, this short lesson. So, if you have any questions, so feel free to ask me. So, that is all and goodbye.